My name is Laura and for the next few weeks I'm going to be travelling around my home country Ireland and I can't wait to bring you along with me. In this week's episode we'll be going on a four day road trip across County Mayo, ticking off some beautiful beaches, crystal clear water and must see attractions. What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, in today's video it's a little bit weird because I'm actually starting it at the end of the day because we did do a big drive today and we are in County Mayo and I'm just about to go to Dan Patrick Head. I can't wait to show you and we're just gonna watch the sunset. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful already. I'm so excited and I can't wait to bring you along on our Mayo road trip. Let's go. No one stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down. So the sun has just gone in at Dan Patrick Head and oh my god, it put on some show. It's possibly one of the most beautiful sunsets I've seen in Ireland. Seriously, they just keep getting better and better every time I go for a sunset in the Wild Atlantic Way. It's just insanely beautiful. But if you are in County Mayo, you definitely need to come to Dan Patrick Head for sunset because you will not regret it. Morning! Friday and early, um, myself and Elizabeth have decided to go to Dan Patrick Head again to just kind of get some nice, bright, and early snaps. Look at these beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. So we're just back in the cave now and just want to say if you do decide to do it you have to make sure that you're there at low tide otherwise you can't get in and back out in time. So I just want to put a disclaimer there. You just need to make sure that you research it. Stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. So we're leaving Dan Patrick Head now. I'm actually really sad. I really like this place. I want to stay. And it's like kind of like an iconic part of the Wild Atlantic Way. Look how cool it is. So glad we came. Like it's been on my bucket list for the longest time. Elizabeth looking down into the cave. Hey, Elizabeth. Nothing Let's go see what this about. The next stop on our Mayo road trip was none other than Seedy's Field. This is a Neolithic farming site that dates back over 6,000 years. It's a two kilometer walk and there is amazing views of the Wild Atlantic Way as you walk around. So you can actually see Dan Patrick Head, it's over there. So that's where we were this morning and last night. So I'm just going to introduce these lovely ladies. Hello. So this is Elizabeth. Um, what's your vlog, Elizabeth? The um, vlog is everythingofseth.com. Yeah. And, and this is Sarah. Hello. My vlog is thetalesoftinybooks.com where I vlog all about Ireland. Woo! <laughs> where we happen to be right now. Coincidence. We <laughs> don't feel alive. When I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I want to take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me, no Nothing can break me I don't know if I will fit you here, guys Is it? It's like for pedestrians or other methods I see the local star trips all the time <laughs> So the next stop of the day is Porta Calou Beach and Cliff Walk and oh my days, it is absolutely beautiful here. There's blue ass water, a beautiful beach and then a cliff walk over to the side here and there's really just not more you could ask for. The cliff walk is 18 kilometers long and it's actually called Porta Calou. I did pronounce it wrong in that original clip. It can take anywhere from a half an hour to four and a half hours to complete depending on what way you decide to go. We decided to just keep heading up straight along the coast and it took us about a half an hour to reach this point. So we have just reached this insane looking viewpoint on the cliff walk 
and it's like one of those moments where it was kind of like a hill and we were like, oh, I wonder if there's a view on top of there. And then when we got to the top, we were like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> this place is insane. It's like a little cove, like a beach cove. I don't think you can get down to it though, but wow, like I actually can't explain how beautiful it is here. I'm like, But this is one of those places when you come and you expect it to be beautiful but it's 10 times more amazing than what you were expecting it to be and I'm just kind of in like disbelief I'm like how is this real <laughs> I'm like is it or I don't know Ireland you're freaking beautiful <laughs> the only thing I will say is we haven't had lunch yet and I'm starving <laughs> but other than that a happy day. I'm hiking up to like the next peak now to see if there's a view of the top. I think there will be. If there isn't, I'm gonna be very sad. What do you think Elizabeth? So I'm up the top now and this is the view. If you're hoping to do the Porta Cloy cliff walk, it's honestly not all too strenuous. It is a little bit uphill in places, but definitely manageable if you take some breaks. We were then back in the car to head to our next stop, which was Ballycroy National Park. We're just doing the shorter kind of walk around the looped walk, um, just because we're trying to get to Ackle tonight um, and we don't want to leave it too late. The walk took about 20 minutes for us to complete and it was really scenic and really enjoyable but all I will say is I feel like we did not do the National Park justice. So if you're in the area and you have a little bit more time than us I recommend checking out some surrounding hikes because we were quickly back in the car and headed towards Ackle Island where we stopped for a bite to eat in Blasta which is kind of like a fast food chippery place. It's really delicious. If you're on the island, definitely check it out. And then we were back in the car to head to Keem Bay. So hey, why did you have a stick? Like, why are you here? Really oh, yeah, Elizabeth in her place. She keeps like not looking at the road. So she most, needs more Most of them you have a wooden, a wooden spoon. But she gets like, she makes her just bleed her sister. So after all that, the tent is up, we have the smaller tent up and it's working and it's good and we're just going to have a nice chill night. Morning! So we survived the night which is always good and now we have this insanely beautiful view to look out at from the tent um, and we're just going to spend the day exploring Apple, maybe go for a swim, a little hike um, and we're going to show you what the view is like from the tent. So we just went in to get a bite to eat into like the main part of Apple and then we're back at Keen. Um, but the only thing is it's so busy here because it's so sunny so we gotta park up here and hike all the way down. The hike? That's a bit dramatic, but walk all the way down. We're going in for a swim now. What's your in your point? It's like cold therapy, it's good for the mind. So we got in. It is freezing when you get in, like that is just the reality of it. But it's beautiful and once you go numb, it's worth it. Wetsuit, well go get your wetsuit and come into us. Oh, have a great time. Really <laughs> it's time to go snorkeling. I probably look ridiculous right now. Elizabeth, lift up your foot there for a minute. <laughs>
Um, and now we're back and we're just chilling. Like we're just kind of taking it easy today, just enjoying the views, enjoying the sun. After spending the evening chilling and relaxing, we decided to head back into the main part of Ackle to grab a takeaway in my favorite restaurant, The Croc. I really recommend this place, it's absolutely delicious. Very good decision. Let's take it. You know what we've just had a chill day let's take a nice and easy so we've came back to the campsite i mean elizabeth are just having a few chats with an incredible view and then we're gonna wake up wake up <laughs> wake up bright and early tomorrow and do a little bit of hiking and a little bit of exploring so i will see you in the morning good morning guys so after our chill day yesterday we decided to make up for it and do a bit of hiking today so the first hike that we're doing is Crowhin. So we've made it to the top and it is insanely beautiful and it's worth the sticky climb to get here. But it's just so funny because when I was here two weeks ago, obviously the weather was completely different. And today you can see far into the distance, like all the landscape, and you can see the top peak of Crohan, which is covered in fog the last time I was here. So it's just really cool. Like it's a completely different perspective and it was definitely worth the big sticky climb. heading down I'm gonna get a drink or something because it is so hot um, and yeah the views on the way down are just incredible though um, yeah I love this hike The heat actually defeated us that day, it was 26 degrees and extremely humid so we ditched our plans to go hiking and started to drive around the island to see what beautiful spots we could find. Starting with Akarimore Lake which is only a 10 minute drive from Keem Bay, it's also a popular spot to head up to Amna Bay which is Ackles Hidden Beach and the lowest Kari Lake in Ireland. It is a 4 hour hike, it was our original plan but we decided to continue on driving to see what other beautiful spots we could find. The next stop was Keel Beach, this is a popular destination for anyone who likes to surf or do a little bit of camping. We then headed on across the road to the Beehive Coffee Shop where I got the Banoffee Pie. It was absolutely delicious and exactly what we needed to continue on driving to our next destination which was the Deserted Village. This is a popular spot to visit if you're on Ackle Island, it really makes you feel like you've gone back in time. It's located on the foot of Sleeve Moor and there's an amazing view of Keel Beach across the way. As we continued our drive around Ackle Island, we came across some of the most beautiful beaches. Here are some that are definitely worth stopping at. Dugart Beach, Golden Strand, and last but not least, Dewey Gab Bay. Just make sure you look out for the jellyfish. This is one of the stop-offs on the Loops Drive and it's the White Cliffs of Ashleem and it's so weird because when you look up things to do in Ackle, I've never seen this place come up so we kind of just stumbled upon it by accident and it's definitely worth coming up here. I also say it'd be an amazing place to watch the sunset. Unfortunately, we are actually heading out of Ackle tonight, but look at this view. Our final stop before heading to our Airbnb in Westport was Grace and Mally's Terror House. It's definitely a good stop off if you're driving around Ackle Island. The Airbnb. <laughs> oh my god, I'm very sunburnt. So this is possibly one of the nicest Airbnbs ever. It is so cute. It's like Lord of the Ring teams and there's like biscuits and tea left for us and water. 
and a TV. It's actually more than we could have asked for, especially because we were supposed to be camping and there's an insane view of the sunset as well. I'm very, very happy not to be in a tent tonight. This is the view from our window. Look at that sky. My favorite chocolates on the pillow. Do you ever feel like everything happens for a reason? Like I'm a strong believer of that. And with the tent breaking and us having to stay in the Airbnb, um, we end up finding this beautiful little Airbnb and it's only like a two minute drive from Westport. You can definitely walk, but it is on a hill. So we opted into driving um, and it has a gorgeous little garden. And yeah, we're just kind of chilling here for the morning and then we're gonna go off and explore the rest of the coast of Mayo. But uh, I just want to show you how cute it is. And I'm going to just like leave the name of the um, b, b in the bottom corner or something so that you can come here too if you are in Mayo. So the Airbnb is just a two minute drive from Westport. So we decided to come in to get a bite to eat to bring on the road with us. And then we saw Gino's find us. So we're getting milkshakes. <laughs> we're just kind of strolling around Westport and then we're going to head back onto the Waldegantic Way and take off the rest of the places we want to visit in Mayo. And on our final day in Mayo, we did a little bit of beach hopping, starting with Berta Beach, which is just a 15 minute drive from Westport. This is a stunning beach to go for a stroll down, go for a swim, and enjoy the amazing view of Crow Patrick. Just once again, make sure you watch out for the jellyfish. These guys are everywhere around July, August in Ireland. We then headed a further 12 minutes down the road to Old Head Beach and to be honest this is one of the most perfect beaches. They had loads of options for water sports, they even had their own snorkel route. I really love this sign and it is the perfect place to just spend the day if you do have more time in Mayo. We decided to continue on down to our next beach which was called Karonski. Again, this is the perfect beach for anybody who wants to go for a nice stroll or maybe do some surfing. They did have surf shacks on the beach and they even had some outdoor showers which isn't all too common in Ireland so that was really cool to see. So we are at our last beach of our Mayo trip which is just a little bit sad um, but I think we might have saved the best to last. We're at Silver Strand which is at the Lost Valley which you can see behind me here um, but unfortunately you have to pay into that and pre-book which I didn't know about um, but it looks insane. But we do have one more stop before the end of the vlog and I cannot wait to show it to you. So we have made it to our last stop of our Mayo trip and oh my, it did not disappoint. We are in Duloc Valley and if you come to Mayo, you have to come here because this place is absolutely class. I hope you enjoyed this vlog guys and if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it and I will see you in the next video. Let's go explore Ireland.